Hey, what's good, everybody? Uh, DJ Marcus T. Just uh, give me a little heads up. I went ahead and took a plunge on the Turbo Sound series I have sitting right here before me. Uh, the IP1000 next to the IP2000. Now, I could tell you that they're rated at the same wattage. 1000 watts. Um, I've gigged already once with the IP2000 and I like it. I like it. Definitely it's at the price point of, uh, I do believe, $799 and the um, IP1000 is $599. Um, this is not a Bose killer. If you're looking at this array system to be comparable to a Bose L1 M1, it's it's not a Bose killer. So uh, you know, do not buy one if you're a Bose person looking for a different system. Um, the clarity is just not there. It is not there, um, and that has to do with di digital signal processing a DSP but I want to take you for a quick walk around these two units I do think that they have their usefulness in the market I'm I'm a DJ so I'm going to play loud amplified music through these um, so here are the back of the units and they look identical um, right up here you have your uh, your amp, those are your connections. Uh, this is a uh, volume control knob. It'll also let you flip between uh, process, setup, exit, and enter. And there are a bunch of uh, presets and uh, things that you can uh, set up your speaker uh, as far as playing it. Uh, these are heavy. <laughs> I'm an older DJ myself. I'm over 50 years old, and uh, these are heavy. So they're not a lightweight. What you're going to need is what you see I have in the background, which is a rock and roller cart. You're going to need one of those uh, to carry these in. Um, how heavy are they? Uh, the heaviest is, of course, the IP2000, and that is the bass bin and the amplifier section. That I, that's the only part I weighed uh, because that is, of course, the heaviest and most awkward piece to move around. Uh, that comes in at about 50 pounds, just that bottom section that you're looking at. Now... The little brother, the IP1000, is no slouch. I thought it would be. I thought it would be substantially lighter than uh, its big brother here. But uh, surprisingly, it weighed in at 42 pounds on my little bathroom scale here, uh, which is not accurate, okay? So <laughs> I'm just getting a, a urban ghetto reading, if you will, from that. But I wanted to give myself kind of some um, indication of what I would be carrying around. As far as cargo space, I definitely would go with the IP1000 um, versus the 2000. Um, just because it's thinner, you know. Uh, the other thing I like about the 1000 versus the 2000 as you see that column array there, okay, now let me just go around here. It looks like it's two pieces, but it's not. If I can get closer, this is just a, a little bump. This actually is one whole piece. However, when I go around to the IP2000, I have two separate pieces, and these come apart. Okay, you have to stack them. I don't know if you can see that. I 
okay they actually the pins go down in there you see that I was able to move it a little bit for you doing that with one hand okay so I like the fact that the 1000 uh, speaker column comes in one solid piece yes it's very long longer than the two column breakdown of the IP 2000 but uh, in my estimation that's two pieces instead of three pieces if you get what I'm I'm trying to say if if you can smell what I'm cooking right now so so with the IP2000 you have three pieces to assemble on your setup and with the IP1000 you have one, uh, two did I say that right you have three pieces with the IP2000 and you have two pieces with the IP1000 okay so that's going to be faster setup with the 1000 and like I said before they're rated they're both rated at 1000 watts each uh, I like the way they look to me if I take uh, two of the 1000s into a wedding I think that they would look really good right next to my uh, you know, right next to the table, skirted table, if you will. Um, and I also think that the 2000s look great. Um, I need to do another test, and I need to play some music through the 1000 versus the 2000 to really give them a, uh, um, a, a test. The other thing that you can see right, right here is that when they're both assembled right next to each other, which you'll probably never see, <laughs> but the 1000 is a little shorter. It's just a little shorter than the 2000. Now where that's going to come into play is if you are doing a party for an NBA basketball team, this you might want to put your 1000 up on a pedestal to get it over your crowd. I haven't measured it, but I do think, yes, it is taller than me. Okay. I'm roughly around 6'2", and the top of my head is hitting there. So, 6'5". And I'm going to come over here. This is very inaccurate. Versus seven feet, roughly. Okay? That's just uh, my estimation on how tall the array uh, is going to be for those two units. But like I said before, um, you'll probably never see a DJ or anybody gigging with two of these side by side. They'll either come with either just one or... Uh, two of the same unit so it really won't make a difference and you know this is just an oddball um, kind of test here but I wanted to show you guys what these two units uh, look like uh, so the next test will be sound stay tuned